Beer of the week time. Welcome back to Intoxicated Opinions. Today in front of us, straight from the great outdoors. I'm sorry. I just had to do that. Professionalism, sir. That is professional. I professionally do this. How you professionally shave that beard? I don't. I go to the barber. <laughs> Listen, Halloween is coming up. Uh, yep. You got this campfire whiskey barrel aged imperial s'more stout. Mm. It's a lot going on right here. And I, it, it, <laughs> the only thing that sounds so pleasing right now is this 12.9% alcohol by volume, 100% unblended. Okay. Go ahead and read the front for us. Uh, Campfire Whiskey Barrel Age Imperial S'more Stout Barrel Age Series. The Imperial Stout was brewed with smoked malt, graham crackers, vanilla, marshmallows, and cocoa powder. Age four to five months in whiskey barrels, and it's not going to be none of that bullshit. So I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm coming in with a very clear view that this is going to be trash. No, hold on. Let me read a little bit. So I'm expecting the worst, hoping for the best. About the beer. Campfire is an imperial version of our beloved s'more stout. This roasty stout. Keep going. This roasty stout has everything you would enjoy in a freshly made s'mores. Chocolate. Marshmallows, vanilla, graham crackers, and cocoa powder. It wouldn't be a campfire without a little smoke, so we added a slight amount of smoked malts to the grain bill for that perfect touch. Finally, we aged it in whiskey barrels for four and a half months. Um, all right. I did this because I want y'all to see the color of the beer. So, you know, we're going to put it in one of these beer mugs. Have them, but them. Yeah, fire. That is dark, boy. They say oh, like a chocolate. Oh, oh, come on, you know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Professionalism. That's you know what I'm saying. Bro, it's okay. I happen to be a professional beer pourer. <sighs> that is not it. You see that foam on that there? Right there, all that foam. Mm-hmm. You don't have to wait about 10 minutes for you to wait. I'm going to drink that. Oh, you're just going to say I will say, off. listen, I'm delightfully pleased already. With what? It's s'mores. It's campfire I you can, can smell, smell that shit. You can smell <laughs> it, but just licking the phone, tasting the phone, bro, it's like mm, 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 it explodes mm. s'mores in your mouth. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all that white gooey. I got you. <laughs> you listen. Ready? I will be drinking this on, on uh, Halloween. Where'd you get this from? We're out in good old Gardner, Kansas. Gardner, Kansas. Yeah. Damn, what you doing out there? That's, I'm working out there twice a week. Okay. It has a little tartness at the end that I'm tasting, but you, you know. ain't even tasted it. I tasted the phone. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Real man. Oh, this is it. This Maybe is the it. tartness is just the high alcohol value. Oh, once that foam dies down, you have the sip of just the beer. Wowzers. Wowzers. <laughs> so one thing I will say about this is if you're me, me personally, the only thing that I would change about this is I would make sure that my mug or my beer is extremely cold. I think that would taste better. Hmm. Well, here's what I'm tasting. Being just cold. Not extremely, just cold. Every single ingredient is s'more. Yeah. Separately, you, you can taste. You taste the cinnamon. You taste the s'mores. You taste the graham cracker. Well, probably that's, that's a group of cinnamon. Wow. Marshmallowish flavor. You know how you like, uh, if you... Excuse me. Professionalism. That's the word of the day. You just did it on the last video. What? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. No, we started when you started No, you burnt, popping. You burnt doing the last. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, dang, you know, okay, so if you're like pouring a very expensive or special whiskey, bourbon, scotch, um, you take it, slowly sip, and enjoy every single second. I 
I feel like I can do that exactly with this beer. Did you read this? I read the top part. Okay, more beer than a bomber. Historically, most barrel-aged beers you'll find are available in glass bottle format called a bomber. While a bomber might look fancy, it offers very little advantage when compared to cans. Cans are easily portable, more recyclable, and also block out harmful light rays. More importantly, you'll get two extra ounces in the box than you would in a traditional bomber. As this box contains two 12-ounce cans, so enjoy one now and give another to a friend. Thank you, friend. You could also sell her this beer in a nice, cool spot. Drink up and cheers to the future of barrel-aged beers. This is the future. I like this. I'm going to go grab like three or four more boxes. I'm going to keep them in my uh, refrigerator. Because this was brewed two years ago. And it still tastes <coughs> like this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a couple for my pops. He likes trying different beers, new beers. So, My lord. Damn. I hit it. I get this a nine. Home run on this. See? A nine. I give it a nine. That's what I'm talking about. I'm right there, man. So um, you come in with low expectations. Get rewarded. The only thing I would change, I like my beer sweeter. I like my s'more sweet. Now, you can sweet. taste everything, chocolate, vanilla, the marshmallow. But you can tell it's not going to be too sweet. Look at how dark it is. It's a dark stout. Barrel age, baby. Say the black of the berry, the, the sweeter, sweeter the, the juice. juice. Let's say the darker the flesh and deeper the roots. What you know about that? Listen. I like this. A nine is just fine. Now that I found the a beer. is for the win. Well, we've had s'mores from other. Yeah, we have. So we've had s'mores, but not barrel aged. And not at this high percentage value. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Um, Martin House Brewing Company. I got my eyes on you. What's that mean? That means if I see you again, I'm going to buy it. Matter of fact, I just brought a new box over for next week. Yeah, so what I would do, I'd put these in the freezer when I know I'm going to, you know, indulge in this. Right. I put it in the freezer that morning, pull them out, mm. drink them just like that. In the morning. Oh, okay, yeah. This could be a good breakfast beer. This is a good icebreaker. Good, good icebreaker. But, like, for people like me that like to drink, uh -huh. if I wanted something just to... Ease my way into drinking, this would be it. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of like that initial first sip of whiskey. Can't really judge it on that. You got to wait till you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, That's I'm cool. right there. Nine is fine. This is amazing. Martin House Brewing Company. You did a great job. This made in Texas by Texans. Hey, I love it. When the next day at the gym, man? Tomorrow morning, six a.m. Damn. Don't damn me. Yeah, you know I ain't making that. Early bird gets the worm, right. baby. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Beer of the Week every Wednesday, 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. As long as he uploads the videos appropriately. If there's a week or two that goes by, it's on him. Other than that, we appreciate you watching. Yeah. They know you're the liar. <laughs> <What? laughs>